Hi everyone, my name is Ryan. Thanks for being here. This is my first video. I had not planned on doing a shop project for my first video, but I was getting ready to do one. So I thought um, I might as well film it and see how it goes. So I have an empty space at the end of my miter station. And this is where my drill press lives. So it gets kind of annoying to move it over to the workbench. I can use it in place, but if I have anything longer than a couple feet, I have to pick it up, move it over to the workbench. So I had this idea to place it onto a platform that could slide out. So I could leave it in that space, slide it out if I have a longer board or whenever I want to use it, and also raise it up a little bit so it's a little bit higher. Because I'm going to raise it up onto a sliding platform, I'm going to have an open space underneath that. I've decided I'm just going to put a drawer in there because I don't want it to be wasted space. To make this project, I started off with one 4x4 four four sheet of BC sanded plywood and one 2x4 four sheet of BC sanded plywood. That's what my miter station's made out of, so I'm just using it for consistency here. The biggest pieces I needed were for the bottom of the drawer, the central piece that is in the kind of skeleton of this thing, and the top platform piece that the drill press would rest on. So I cut those first. Except for a couple cross cuts on the miter saw, I made every cut in this project on the table saw. The depth of this project was 24 inches and the depth of my drawer was 23 and a half. I left about two and a half inches on the back side of this whole thing because I think I'll probably want to put some dust collection in in the future. Whenever I have a project like this that involves handling a bunch of plywood, I go ahead and just sand everything down after I've made all my cuts. I don't know what it is, it just makes it a little bit easier to work with smoother pieces. After sanding, I just laid all my pieces out on my workbench. I went back with the tape measure and just remeasured everything to make sure it looked okay. And I took a lumber crayon and just marked out the dimensions of everything on the bad sides. The last cuts I needed to make using the table saw were the dados that were going on the side pieces of the main assembly of this thing. With a little black magic I did it pretty quickly. After I cut the dados, I went ahead and just did kind of a test fit of the main assembly of this thing, just to kind of make sure everything was going to fit before I glued and screwed it. I wanted to mark some kind of indicator on the sides of this thing so I knew exactly where to put my screws. One of the side pieces is going to be facing outward, and I wanted to make sure that I didn't draw a line on there that I'd have to remove later. However, the other side piece was going to butt up against the cabinet of the miter station. I didn't worry about this one, and I just scored a line. At this point, I went ahead and put together the main skeleton of this thing, I guess. I was going to use screws to put it together, but since this thing was kind of the main support structure of the whole project, I went ahead and used some glue on these seams. This was really the only place I used glue. As 
Since I was screwing this thing together anyway, I didn't really need to use clamps to hold it until the glue dried, but I did go ahead and use some clamps to kind of hold it in place until I could get the screws in. I pre-drilled every hole, and then because one side was facing outward and the other one was butting up against the cabinet, I went ahead and countersunk them as well. Once I got it all screwed together, I just took it over to the open space, did a quick test fit to make sure it was going to fit. I got out a scrap piece of half inch plywood. I find it pretty easy to install these drawer slides when you've got something to just sit them on top of. With the main support piece of this thing complete, I went ahead and grabbed the sides of what was going to be the drawer and laid them out in place. I wanted to make sure that the measurements were going to be correct. After that, I went ahead and put some pocket holes in them so I could start putting them together. These Craig clamps are really handy for this, by the way. Put the bottom of the drawer onto the sides just to kind of check the dimensions of this whole drawer. I think it's a good idea before you start screwing everything down just to make sure it's generally square. And back to drilling and screwing. Just like with the drawer slides, it's super easy to have something to sit the drawer on top of when you're installing it. That way when you're sliding it out, it maintains its relative position when you're putting the screws in. So to install the front of this drawer, I pull the drawer out a little bit, I get a 1 16th inch piece of scrap and I put it on the workbench. Then I'll set the drawer front on top of that just to raise it up a little bit. 
I'll clamp it in place and I'll put a ruler up to the side just to make sure it's kind of even with the sides. After that, I'll go ahead and pre-drill some holes and screw it together. I had a few drawer knobs left over from when I built my miter station. All I did was measure from the sides and the top and get a center for this drawer front. I drilled a hole through the middle and then I just put the knob on. And now it's time to put the drawer slides on for the top platform piece of this thing. I measured out and marked a reference line for placement of these rails, I guess I'll call them for lack of a better term. They're really just there to hold the platform in place and install them to the drawer slides. After a quick test fit, I installed the top platform piece in much the same way I did as the drawer. And I use pocket holes here to attach the front piece onto this top assembly. I put the drill press on top of the platform and got it into position where I wanted it. And then I marked and drilled the two holes for the bolts that were going to mount this thing. I took the whole assembly and moved it over to the open space where it was going to be in its final position. Then I went ahead and screwed it in place. At this point it was time to go ahead and get the drill press installed onto the top platform. I brought it over and set it on top, then I pulled the platform out and went ahead and put the bolts in. And that's that. I think this thing turned out pretty well. Thanks again for showing up and watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, consider clicking the like button or subscribing. I hope to keep doing these. So thanks again for showing up. Y'all have a great day.